Plus two, the pick of big, of course. And uh, we'll see how this round goes down. It's going to be Rob's in towards lower with the dual Berettas. An exciting prospect here, Chad. Will he be able to find more than one frag? That is the question. Oh, it doesn't look like they're going to flash him. Just going to walk around the corner here. Julie start to unload. Rocks with the opening kill. Traded out for favor now. And Rain tries to respond, but has been smoked off. In the meantime, Brokey towards Long will stem the bleed. So we still have a smoke, a flashbang, and now the recovered Beretta is in the hands of Faven. They'll go towards middle, and Carrigan will spot them here. So let's hold up towards middle. Carrigan and Twist patrolling the B bomb sites, and there's still plenty of time here, but the man advantage lies with Faze. Yeah, likely saw the bomb there on that spot, Carrigan. So bunker down towards the B bomb site, Twist towards the back, the USP in hand. This CT side of Dust 2 been a bit elusive for Faze throughout the event. Let's see if they can course correct here in the most important game. So are we going to be smoking the double doors or in front of the tunnels here, Chad? What do you reckon? I think the doors and a couple of flashes here would be the most likely avenue of assault. There's the smoke. Flashes to follow here. How many is Twist going to be able to get? There's one. Just taps away at ahead. That goosh is going to sting. But Carrigan now can come in and, well, get involved in the mix. Twist will continue to poke those heads down. It's going to be a great start here. 1-0 for Faze. It looked like that ding rattled him to his core there, but he manages to maintain his balance and get three kills in total. Quite a clean round from Faze in the end. And we know Faze, uh, sorry, Big like to take these quite cleanly. You know, yes. it'd be interesting if we see a force by without the plant here on the T side. Uh, just been having a bit of a look at some of the stats for Faze so far in this event. And in some of the stats, like opening kills, they're towards the bottom of the group. You also look at their trade percentage towards the bottom of the group. And then utility damage and flash assists are also not great. So these are all the base Six, which I'm sure they're going to be hoping to get flowing here this evening. And one of the ways to get that is just to communicate, right? Just to get the, the comms going and flashing for you, make sure that you're dictating a little bit of the pace. Because last night, G2 were dictating everything. They absolutely were. They looked stunning on Dust2 as well. Faze taking a 16-7 pummeling there. But to be fair, Big have also lost uh, a big map towards... Uh, well, FTW was it on Dust2? Yeah, well, here we just have some... Uh, I want to say a bit of heads-up play. They've taken the aggression. They've gone and hunted down these glocks. They're initiating the attack here, and, and that's good. That's on an anti-eco hey, round. I think they looked a little rigid yesterday. We weren't seeing much of this flare, so that's a good start. It's encouraging for sure from FaZe Clan. They go up 2-0, but it was against the full eco. There was barely anything there. There's a few glocks, and we'll see the AKs, 47s out of full force here, and Sirson, of course, on the scout, but he is pretty deadly with the weapon. Hopefully, he can step up here and find a tag, potentially, but towards lower B we go. It's a very meta move. We'll see Rob's just showing presence, actually falling back from lower. As they push up towards short again, this is very assertive play, Chad. Yeah, still dictating the pace here. They just want to keep taking these fights. Rain, he's not going to stop for anything now. Peering out, dink exchange. Brokey goes down as well, so big handling this one. Carrigan will get a kill towards long, but that's two scouts early. Did Carrigan dink Keto as well? Either way, there's a lot of damage put out there. It's a four versus three, but still phase well in this round. They'll have Rob's alone towards B. He only has the FAMAS and a flashbang, so it doesn't really have anything to fend them off with. I think they have to be a little bit more reactive once again. It's going to be Carrigan pushing towards Shaw here. Flashed in. Doesn't see anything, but there are players all around him towards Shaw. So the probe towards this area didn't really get him much information. If anything, false info. Well, Carrigan's going to have to stop them if they continue to gallivant up short. They have so much utility for an A execute. They do the bridge smoke, the one way, mollies towards the site, flashes as well. So. He has nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a very difficult task. Now, if Big doubt themselves, if they drop back and go for a mid to B, Twists and Rops combined could try and lock this out, but they're just going to contact forward and Carrigan stands tall. It's a one for one. Twist will get a kill in the meantime. And now we have a winnable two on two with Keto Low. We absolutely do. Twists and Rops will both rotate through the double doors here towards middle. Bomb being planted in the default spots. And there we go. Keto patrols the steps. Presumably going to be baited in here by Searson. That's a lovely Molotov. As we mentioned, the CTs with no utility whatsoever. They will split the attack here towards Long. Twist will be sent in, and this flashbang actually catches Rops completely. Not the cleanest kill, but it'll absolutely do. Keto down to 10 points of foul, so did very well to get a frag there. Uh, it might not be possible for Twist here. Time is of the essence, and uh, with about 15 seconds remaining, just trying to see if any exit frags are available. But uh, we'll see what he wants to do with this. Yeah, I think he's cooked right now. No way to get into this one. Didn't expect both players to be towards short, and that'll be the round. So big bounce back immediately here when the buy comes through. You can see that flash there from Rops is going to give away the indication of likely where Twist was retaking from. So right. get that early piece of information. But there's still enough cash to go around here. I'm sure FaZe will be able to strap together a buy. But it has to be said, FaZe Clan did manage to make a round of that after losing the first two picks as well. That push towards top of middle. Uh, it, sure, it was bold. It was aggressive. Didn't work out for them. but still a very competitive round. They saved the AK-47, which does yield another buy here. They've got themselves four rifles, one of which is the FAMAS, but they've got the AK-47. Rain with just a deagle, and a tag comes in. 
Twist takes a bullet to the thigh. And Ropt once again, aggressive Chad, looking to get that first pick. He, they know they need an advantage here. They're on the back foot even more so now, so they'll jiggle the weapons around. Twist will be given the Desert Eagle a break. Yeah, well, we saw this uh, not that long ago. I think G2 were having a maneuver like this with Hunter playing relatively aggressive in mid like this. Goes overlooked as far as the protocols of the clears go. And now starting to turn his attention towards lower. It's long. The attack comes first. Big have taken some space and applying pressure. Carrigan is going to need to chime in with Broki here. A smoke. Well, oh, it's going to delay them, but Broki needs to do this all alone Damn. and favor. Beautiful shots right there. Two heads hit the deck. Rob's yeah. Just trying to thread the needle here. He has been able to avoid Crimbo for now. He has indeed, but we've got Twist low HP from the initial tag as well. Another five versus three, and this time no grenades whatsoever once again. I try and fight towards this A site here. If they group up flash forward with twist, they could try and take the fight to big, but hoping the reaction comes quicker here. 50 seconds remaining. If twist was there towards A, he could maybe flash the crossover and we could see another spray down towards that long area. But this is the all important frag here. Robs will deliver it, but it has been found out. Grimbo presumably going to trade this one. An opportunity there, but Rain fighting back with that AK-47 towards the A site. It's not quite enough. The Desert Eagle only for twist, as we mentioned, already tagged has absolutely no chance in this one. Oh, hopefully he can find himself a weapon to carry through the next round. Clubs the jump just there, but not going to be the end of the world. And I suppose we can take a look at some of the losses for FaZe on Dust2 within this group. They lost to G2 16-7 last night, and they yep. lost to MIBR 16-9. Now, some of the key issues that they were experiencing was this CT side. Probably a reason why they've decided to start here. First map of the series, big pick in. Get it out of the way. You've been having issues with it. Let's get it done first. And the thing is as well, they looked a little bit discombobulated against G2. Brokey barely had the AWP. Their money was on the back for continuously. So uh, hoping to see a different look from face today. We've already seen that aggression towards middle, but with it going so badly, I suppose, towards our top mid area, it might make them a little bit more rigid once again. Time will tell as uh, big collect yet another round here doing very well on that t side to go 2-2 two, two. twist will save the ak once more but there's only two thousand dollars per player Most bonus hasn't really built up just yet and here's rops doing his best he was trying to find early engagement there towards lower got nothing from it he took through the smoke a frustrating one for rain as we've said he had to try and get a multiple spray down there but it doesn't work out for him so presumably the eco just a 5.7 and a P250 purchase. I suppose we can get into a couple more of these details, right? I brought yeah. some stat lines like phase lacking in opening kills, lacking in the trade percentage, the flash assists, and those basics right there, I mentioned you can get flowing with communication and uh, making sure that you're dictating the pace of the game. It right. is a bit strange to see this team, you know, struggling in trade percentage, but with the play style they've had in a lot of the matches, the ones we've watched, the ones we've covered, they just want to stand and fight. They've yep. been so aggressive. They've been jumping through smokes. They've just been wanting to knock everybody out straight away. And that's going to cost you because if you don't get that trade potential, if like we saw before when they did the two man push up mid, if you don't go one for one, if they get the advantage right there, well, you're in a lot of trouble. Well, Carrigan, he might get the drop on them here, but he's okay. only got the USP and they'll be ready for it as well. All five players were big on this long take and they're aware the flanks are coming so they can just pump the brakes for a second, wait for any sort of reaction from the CT, see if they'll be flashing each other in towards A. Now they've all been seen, they might want to consider their options. The problem is they've lost so much map control, Chad, they have to commit to long here. They have no idea what's behind them. So this is their only port of call, but it's still a very strong one. Yeah, plenty of resources to do so. Let's see if these pesky pistol pistols can find anything here. They're just going to continue to bleed out the clock, hope for this CT aggression. Rain has closed the door. There is no way back. The cross smoke starting to be lobbed out. He's going to pick himself up a molly. That'll be nice. That's not bad at all. Maybe he can do something with that. But uh, it's all down to twists here, really. Go for the spray. Molly might actually come into play here, Henry. He's run all the way around the wall. He's going to lob that towards the ramp. The, the chaos could start ensuing now. The boost is going to come through. Starting to get chaotic with 23 seconds. Kido will remove one. The flash, perfectly timed. Going to bail them out of what could have been a problematic situation. That should be enough. Yeah, do or die time now for FaZe. Will they be going for the retake on the AK or just saving the rifle? Either perhaps Swiss goes down holding the weapon and we're trying to get a kill here for Rain, but not going to happen. Taps in with the double kill. Just Rops remaining. Does recover the AK at least, so that's something, but presumably they can justify a bit of a hunt here. The money's not amazing on the T side. They might just yield and allow them to keep it, but... Uh, Let's have a look. They're actually probing towards CD spawn, so they, they fancy it potentially. Yeah, cutthroat stuff here. There's a kit as well available for Rops to scoop up if he stays alive, but we'll need to get a couple more kills. Faven now wants to take this duel. 
we get it done. So good stuff for Big. As we mentioned to kick things off, Big can remain masters of their own fate if they sweep this series 2-0. So Has the, the pressure is right? here. The pressure is here from the very beginning. So as yeah. long as they can keep this at a 2-0, the uh, rest of the rabbit hole uh, doesn't really get plunged into it. We have to discuss how Outsiders versus G2 goes. Uh, so we can hold on to that for now. Let's just focus on Big getting this done clean. So. Yeah, I mean, in the first map, normally there's not a whole lot of pressure in a best of three. Well, for big, there is. Yeah, they can't afford to drop a single map here. Like we said, this one is for all the marbles, and who would have thought FaZe going 3-0 to kick the group off are in this position now where they potentially might not make it. Pressure again, Henry. They're really just continuing to push the hasn't issue here. Well, it's Aldo, has no, it? Just getting found out every time, and it's on his own. How are you meant to trade? Again, an opening it's, kill that goes against them. It's a little rough, actually. They've tried that like three times now, and three failures have come through. Uh, fascinating, but uh, on the back foot once again, we commonly talk about Dust 2 being a reactive map. If you lose the advantage, you have to push elsewhere, get some information, take some territory, Story. They can't really do that either, Chad. They don't have any incendiaries. They don't have an AWP. No kits. Like, what can they really do with this one? This is where FaZe have to hope that their individuals, when the fights come their way, can multi-kill. That's it, right? That's right. the only conversation that can be made. Sure, you could hope for a gamble stack, but that's going to be a 50-50 on where they finish. If this is the individual pedigree of the best team in the world, that's when it needs to shine. If they come from Brain's direction, needs a two-piece. The same for every single member on FaZe right now. Is the most pressure could be applied to Rops. He's on... Solo adventure at B right now, trying to bunker down as Big have taken this short control. Still plenty of time and plenty of utility. That's the key here. Absolutely true. Um, they can fully execute towards A once again. And what's there to stop them? I believe just two flashbangs. That, that's literally it. That's all they have on the A side. Uh, Rops will hold B with just one as well. So similar scenes to get in terms of the G2 game yesterday. The money was just spiraling out of control. Finances were woeful at best. But Keto taking a bit of damage here towards middle. Rops will spot him, but... Maybe just falls back here, we'll see. Oh, I'm again, 20 seconds. They might have to start getting that bomb over towards B now. They need to deal with Rops, and he's starting to question, are they even coming through the door? Keto, huge. Cool just it doing done. it late. Where's the pressure? There's none. 12 seconds. We're running into the site. Breeze in our hair. Big plan the bomb with six seconds remaining <laughs> on the clock, and that's going to be a 4-2 to two score line. FaZe have to save. Let's have a timeout, FaZe. Uh, let's discuss what's going on here. Maybe stop these solo adventures towards middle. It's a nice idea, but I dare say, Chad, you need the AWP backing you up towards those mid-doors, potentially watching towards top of middle, allowing for a trade to come through if the worst has happened. But uh, again, haven't had the money to even justify an AWP purchase. Well, we spoke about the positives of dictating the pace and making sure that you get that communication flowing. By being active, you can ensure that. But by doing it alone, you're removing the team element of Counter-Strike. Yeah. So, look, Carrigan wanting to get ahead of the play, maybe something from the demos or the prep. He wants to stop them if they go for a full-on long play. Either way, you can't be giving an opening kill away to Big, who are playing this very slow, methodical brand of Counter-Strike right now. And it's looking very good. It has to be said, they, they haven't really made a single mistake so far. Another five players survive on a full gun round. It goes 4-2 to Berlin International Gaming. Here's Grimbo catching Carrigan with his pants down, unfortunately. And uh, that was pretty much around. Keto just granted access towards B. Of course, obviously, their CT defense is spread thin on a 5 on 4. But uh, great play from him. Takes down the linchpin of Rops. To stay poised when the clock is sub 30 seconds. I'm sure we've all played games at home. You know, yep. you've been in your matchmakings or maybe you've been in the face at lobbies and people are like, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Does it get very rushed? Keto there to keep the poise. As it looks like a scout for Rops here. One for Carrigan as well. So, scope rifles apparently the they remedy for their issues. They haven't fully invested. They still would call this a partial buy. And they're trying it once again. But they think Long's been taken. They're all just sitting back of car yard outside Long, the once upon a time palm tree. They're ready to fight this in middle. There's going to be three players clumped in middle here, four phase to try and fight. And here come Big. Well, now that flashbang isolates Twist completely, but he's rising to the occasion. Great opening shots and actually gets a triple Twist. kill. This is more like it. The aggression paying off here, but it's answered in due course. Back to a two on two, and it's the double scout combo, Chad, to try and save the day. I'm not sure it's possible, but plenty of time. Potentially can go recover one of those rifles, but it's a no man's land right now along with the bomb. Depends on the type of fights that come their way, right? If they get a tag and get away, they'll make things very, very precarious for Big here. They're just holding out for these pushes. Big have come prepared today for all of these Aggie moves that FaZe <gasps> have thought would catch them off guard. I can't believe the double scale combo on the CT side and the gun round. You ever seen anything like it? But uh, let's see what they make of it. I think mid is the absolute best call they could... Uh, Possibly go for here. Well, Carrigan now up towards short, so they've been able to find this gap. For Rops, if he can get in towards upper dark, he can try and silence them as they make their way into B, but it's so much utility. They can smoke off it's, tunnels, it's, they it's can an molly back a plat, and they're just staying silent. They're keeping these questions for FaZe consistently in these rounds. Well, we said the high fraggers of FaZe had to step up 
A triple kill from Twist. It's still not enough, the looks of things, as we go towards the tunnel. The scout will need a headshot. That's the only way they could save that round. And unfortunately, it will be Grimbo with another stunning shot towards uh, the head of Rops and Carrigan. I guess you might as well see if you can get a rifle. Yeah. That's all you can hope for. Well, here's the thing. They've all saved enough money right now, FaZe, that in the next yes. round with the loss bonus where it's out, they will be able to get a comfortable buy. But that's a fantastic pick up there from Carrigan, right? The fact they bought out those scopes with the scout. There it is. Maybe they want to get the AWP and a uh, little available ASAP, and Froki should be having that next round. This was great from Twist. Yeah, it really was. The fact that they hedged the three rifles here in middle, but he was the only one that produced trading well big. And you can just see this game plan for big early is working out fantastically. These CT side woes are continuing for FaZe and we'll just start to sow the seeds now. But FaZe here at ESL Pro League for Season 16 are in contention to win the Intel Grand Slam. If they get eliminated today with a 2-0 loss to that of Big, they will have to try again in Rio at the Major. That's shocking, isn't it? Who would have thought Group B would be so cutthroat towards the book end of it? But still, Brokey will finally get the AWP chat. A timeout required for sure. Let's discuss our options now. This is the first real gun run. I say that because Brokey is so influential on this team. He's been playing so well with the AWP and on Dust 2, he just doesn't seem to get it these days. So he will have the rifle finally and uh, we'll see where the purchases come through on either side. It's pretty standard procedures here. And uh, do we expect to see more of the mid aggression? I, I doubt it. Maybe more of a traditional round here. Try and gain the long control instead of forcing the issue towards middle. Well, considering how much space is being given now by Big, they're, they're luring them into these traps. Right. So they're subverting down. expectations. They're thinking, oh, they're out long. They're just going in front of the long plays. No, they're all sitting in car yard. There's four players. And the guy's anti flash. They're ready with nade flashes of their own. It's looking good from Big. And you can see Base Clan, they've obviously gone over these mid setups, but this one flashbang is removing a couple of players and isolating players like Twist. Sure, he did an amazing job and got three kills, but still, Big were in full control at all times. So, round number eight, and Rain boosted up towards short this time. Yeah, well, they gambled four towards A early to establish this boost. That's going to leave the pressure on Rops, who's suggesting there's an opportunity for Lower Dark with that smoke. And again, just a slow call from Big, waiting for the CTs before they react, and now, yeah. Applying pressure towards Xbox and short control very quick. Here we go, picking up the pace. And just be rain to defend here with the M4. He's got the incendiary to buy some time, so just going to be spotting and uh, answering fire with fire. The orbs over towards B. If there's an execute towards this A site from Big, it'll be perfect. Brokey's going to be eliminated from this puzzle. He won't be able to contribute from that traditional mid-long game helper car position. True. Yeah, they haven't got the best positions towards the A site. Twist's actually getting towards the ramp now. And Searson, oh, does he go for it? Doesn't quite hit him, but Rain is uh, rattled a little bit. Will drop off. Doesn't fancy it. Twist gets towards Goose now as well. Love this from Robs. That's a great information play. Oh, there's a nade right there just being scooped up. Rain was trying to find it. Now if he throws this nade. nade out, it could do a decent chunk of damage. Keto put on notice, and they're sending him in first again. But this aggression from Robs. Nobody saw Perfect. it coming. Get one. Get away. Force big. It's a disarray. Roki's picked one off towards mid, and finally, a late push that's worked out for FaZe. Absolutely. Rops doing God's work there, pushing down towards lower. They had no idea, and you can see how much more control they've got towards middle with Broki backing up with the sniper as well. Five versus three. This time in favor of FaZe Clan. It will be the execution, but uh, do they commit? Flashbangs being prepared. 15 seconds on the clock. Surely, FaZe tuck this one in. This is so late. How do you even get to the site right now? The volley's come over. There's just no time What's for this. Going on here? Ravens out long oh. late. Two massive kills. One on the site. There's no time to plant. There's no time to plant. Twist is going to confirm it. The kills are great here. The damage is good from Big. But Twist is going to handle business oh. and he even gets a couple oh. after time. That's big. Okay. Love that from Twist. Another triple kill from him. You're right. With the time being so low, that flank from Faven was impressive with the shots, but ultimately meant nothing. And he ended up losing quite it's a annoying, lot It's annoying, right? It's yeah. very annoying to go down like that, especially for some of these well, phase members. The We've seen a lot of that recently yeah, as well. There was a push through the mid doors just the other day where the uh, barrel came through the mid doors. It gave Nico, who was there, uh, an opportunity to know it was coming before he should have. Yeah, we had an update to fix that issue, I believe, but uh, I guess there's uh, still a fuse position that doesn't quite work out. Well, there's the downside to the Silence Den 4, but Roki, he's got one of the two AWPs equipped here for phase. Rops has the secondary over towards B for now, and Kido's been somewhat the point man here. It hasn't necessarily been quick, but he's been limping out looking for these fights and tabs him. He swings top wow. mid. There's Kido, the aforementioned entry fragger, and he's going to get two mid to B's open and bigger back in it. That's crazy. I'm surprised Robs doesn't get a kill there, but stunning shots from Big Clan here. This is looking very, very good. In round number nine, they've got a five on two. Carrigan and Rain. No real options here. I guess if they do go towards long, there's a chance Rain can get a couple of kills, but they've subverted expectations back towards b we go the bomb will be there towards 
the back of Tabson. Crimbo will join him as well. That is grouping up. Mid has been a great area for Big. And like you said, they're playing it by the book. They're being very methodical and tight as uh, they group up together, not giving anything away. You phase an inch, they'll take a mile every single time. You've got to go through the procedures. Make sure you're running your protocols. Well, it's good stuff from Twist here. He's had impact on the pistol round, on the gun rounds. He's had a, a, a lot of kills here coming through. Uh, it's the rest of the, the cast here that need to contribute, give him a hand. I, I think that Brokey is obviously the biggest name, being an AWPA. Attempt there from Faven. At least he'll get the information so Tabson can decide if they want to hunt, and clearly they do. You can see over towards CT spawn already. Keto continuing to look for more. Already has two in the round. He would love to get a couple more kills here. Already up to eight. We'll get a chance against Rain, who does look very aware of this. So you can see the orb can't be scooped up, and this should be Rain's kill. I don't yeah, think absolutely. Keto's going to walk out clear in this, so alleviates a slight bit of pressure here. A little bit, but uh, phase. Certainly on the back foot here. Carrigan has been found out. He does manage to do a bit of damage there as well. Rain should survive, but uh, the damage has been done. There it is. It's going to be six to three. Big running away with the T side here on just two. Their map pick, just to bear that in mind, is new coming up next. As uh, we see Keto once more helping himself towards middle. He's looking very, very confident. They seem like they're chasing their tail right now. We were talking yep. about dictating the pace early. They tried. It hasn't worked. And now they can't find a solution. Getting caught off guard. They're just taking the space whenever they want it big. And they're not even doing like the standard, let's just take long and execute late. They've done that on an anti-eco or a lower buy. Maybe getting an AWP and Rops his hand towards B as well. Might help set up a turret. One there, but they just got owned. Yeah. So, I, I agree with you. Maybe the double AWPs is the answer here. But they need to start hitting some shots. And everybody's blind right now. Crimbo's out towards the blue bin what could he get done from here he still looks up for it though doesn't he but uh here comes another incendiary he pulls out the wrong bit of utility will burn to a crisp and rain the double kill is found through the smoke finds two of the players they've got the advantage they need to capitalize upon this now plenty of time to work with serious and alive with the orp he can do damage here so they need to tighten things up now get into those crossfires establish themselves within the bomb sites at least one of the positives when i was looking through some of these stat lines for phase in the group so far was their 5v4 conversion rate the Price. highest uh, in the group, I do believe. No, not the highest. Towards one of the highest. It's uh, at least above the 50%, right? right? Whereas the other stats I was referencing were below 50%. Bit of a standstill here. It was the highest. I was uh, doubting myself. Actually. I don't know. I don't I, know why I doubted myself. I, I did don't all know the prep. Why. You know, I wrote all the not, notes. That's not like you, Jack. I doubted myself. That is right. the They are the highest 5v4 in, in the tournament at the moment. You have uh, the biggest Counter-Strike brain I'm aware of, Jack. Oh, that, so... that, give me that. I'm trying to pick you up, trying to, get, trying to get you back in the zone. All right, all right, I'm getting in the zone. Here we go, twist. Canadian sensation. Oh, they've got a chance here. This is looking promising. Big might be able to thread the needle with the Molotov at the back as well. They can potentially isolate the players here. The car goes down with nothing. This is a real problem. Rops thankfully finds one. Ducking and weaving now, but here we go. The opening has been found. Can they get the bomb planted? The orb outside. Molotov here actually making things very uncomfortable. Roki might have to commit. Oh, Through the smoke no, we go. No, no, no. It's the double kill, and it goes down to a two versus one. How have they given this one up? Builds a five versus three, Chad, and Big help themselves toward the B bomb site, and all hell breaks loose. Oh, no. I, I think we saw FaZe win a similar round themselves on the T side just the other day, and then yeah. they go and they drop the ball with one like that. You could see Broki. He was ahead of their Molotov. He threw his own. He thought he had to go. They had the pressure coming through the doors oh. as well. Uh, the flash, I, I guess the timing just wasn't with them during all of this. This is the important kill. Rob's only getting one. Exactly. A position where you really need him to produce two. The flash comes forward. Tabson not blind as soon as he sees Rain. Gets that kill. And now Carrigan, what's he meant to do? How's he meant to get into this? Tabson <laughs> fired up. That's a huge round and we're straight back into this. Fight oh, here we go. Is. All the kills coming in. Twist gets one with a nade and a molly and Carrigan has a scout kill. Where did all that right. come from? Now we're on to something, Chad. It's looking much better for FaZe. They are bouncing back. And then some. It was a partial buy with two scouts and Desert Eagle and they've managed to get four kills. I couldn't even tell you how. We might need to catch this one in the replay. I think so. I don't think Sirison can get a one-off. Must on have been towards long right. The ha there's a lot of bodies dropped towards there. Sirison, the B bomb site that there is a chance here. It's just Rops you have to deal with. If he's able to take Rops out of the picture here, this oh, can't coming from the other three. Okay. Still quite far away. Rops will 
take care of that and run as he might to get this AWP. He didn't get there in time. It must have been a straight up long take, spawn based counter strike there. And I assume that it's got bombarded with HE grenades and then mowed down by the pistols and scouts because Lincoln, you missed it. We somehow did. And uh, let's take a look at this one. So it was that mid push from Carrigan once again. Twist, the utility damage must yeah. be towards long. It was incendiaries and HE's thrown. So yeah, they gave him the kitchen sink there. Beautiful. Wow, all right. Back in it. Massive work alive. on the utility there from Twist. Yeah. Two kills, you didn't see anybody. You'll take those every day of the week. Let's get into it, finally. Pushing again. They're just running straight down the dark here. Oh, boys. Wow, they boys. take the fight. Big weight every single time. This hasn't worked out, but Brokey taking matters into his own hands. Still a competitive round, but the beat bomb site is wide open. Tearson will help himself to it, and it's up to Rain to deny access. Needs to try and get something done here. Can he sneak through the window? Up to the grenade towards Big Box here. It does connect nicely. But I dare say he's going down. This is looking tremendous, but uh, there we have it. A three versus one. Brokey dropped down there. So after winning the eco, they give that round away. This Counter-Strike right here in the last two rounds, the round phase one and then the round phase lost, is the exact type of Counter-Strike phase has been playing throughout this tournament. Just stand and fight. That's all they want to do. Can see, you see it here. They're not allowing the rounds to play out. Let's run through doors. Let's run through window. Fight, fight, fight. That's all they're up to. And it's not working. It's really not. And it's... Disheartening, I'm sure, after winning such a difficult round with the pistols and the scouts, and it goes down in this fashion. Wasn't even a real round, to be honest with you. They do have a buy, and it's a double orb setup. There it is, Rops will be taking it towards B, allowing him to set up the turrets here. Speaking of turrets, it's Sirison, and opening up the fragging, takes down Carrigan. He wasn't even in the pit. When do you see the AWPer jumping out the doors? He might sit there with the one-way smoke. He might get a couple of flashes. Sirison, combat AWPing here. You love to see it. This is the aggression they're going to need. So they've got full long control, the AWPer in the pit, and now the world is your oyster. You can fall back. You can even go to a B play, keeping Sirison here, and it's denying vision. Throwing utility, just being a general nuisance. This is a very powerful position here. Remember, this was a double orb set up for FaZe. So still a fighting chance, a five on four, but they have lost the in-game leader and indeed long. No direct reaction so far from the CTs. They remain tight in the B-bomb side. Rops there with the orb watching towards middle. Twist patrolling the tunnels, meaning two players alone, waiting for action towards A here. Well, we saw Carrigan try a similar move yesterday. He got a worked out, didn't it? He's going to get the same maneuver. He's been peppered. He might want to consider saving this. Eight to four. And a 5v4, a very difficult round to win, trying to dodge the bullets and Brokey trying to dodge the flames. He's been burnt down to 21. I don't see a way for FaZe to get back into this. And as the smoke starts to fade, it's going to be a sit and duck. His twist with another opportunity of a kill and one he'll get. But the bomb is planted towards A and look at the HP. So low. Rain, well, he'll be dropped in the end and it's a four versus three. I dare say it's probably over, and they are going to start retreating here. Robbed with a fadeaway frag. Maybe a couple here. Oh, actually loses the I love the, the aggression. Well. They, they're taking the, the fight yeah. to phase. They go, okay, that's cool. You want to aim up? We, we have heavy hitters, right? They do. The, the, the question is big getting their heavy hitters online. Right. You know, hitting some good shots. Faven's doing the same. Tabson's online. Seriously, those three names. They all have nine kills. Keto's the highest with 10. It's just Krimbo with four, and he's doing his job. Yeah, you've got Sirius and is running out those long doors. Shotgun AWP taking down the in-game leader. So demoralizing. Is it the start of every round? There seems to be complete pandemonium ensuing. As uh, there we have it. Nine to four. Phase. Really can't get going here. They've won two gun rounds so far. Remember, they won the pistol and converted the second as well, Chad. So two gun rounds, and it's all been quite, quite awkward. Apart from that, it's going to be Sirius, and like we said, Carrigan didn't quite make it to the pit, got the gray screen, unfortunately. That was another stat line I was looking at today. So FaZe have played this map three times. They've won it once, lost it twice. But over those three maps, they're five and one in pistols. So now right. you add this as the fourth outing, they've won another pistol. So we can be six and one. We'll see what happens next half. Yep. But if you're winning the pistols, you're getting at least the first conversion in cleaning like they did. Only two other gun rounds here on the CT side. Well, they do save a single AWP at least. Brokey will have that, but... Uh... Has been quite quiet by his standards. Chat four and seven. He's uh, not really got going. A couple of good shots, but uh, that's about it. Not out here is going to just have a compilation of how to hint smoke from literally everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of different variations we've continue to see. It's always fun. Oh, make or break time for this half, really. Absolutely. This is where it all begins on the comeback for Phase. Uh, going to need at least five rounds, I would say. They've got MP9s for masses, but. As mentioned, the Broke AWP, Twist of the AK as well, but look at the lack of utility once more. Warming it on the clock, they have a smoke and an incendiary, three flashes, but so much to battle against as we go back towards middle. 
Keto not finding the opening kill this time. Just feels like bigger having their way with FaZe at the moment. Uh, FaZe yeah. now, they don't have any proactive moves. They don't have any utility. So now they can't go for those options that we were talking about. It's how they react at this moment. So short control utility comes out. Here That's a great find from Bro Brokey. A way to get the round started at least. And they've baited him the MP9 here towards short as well. They might not be aware. This close range weaponry. This though went to the barrel. Exactly. That's a good point. Rain is primed and ready, but... Uh, Looks like we might be going back towards B, so Rain will explore his options, see if there's an AK to pick up here, and indeed, there is a rifle, but doesn't want to make any noise just yet. They're setting up the mid 19 seconds, the bomb's just here on his oh, left. That's it, that's this the bomb. Be the round. That's the round done. You're not going to get the bomb in time, boys, and you're not going to get all the kills in time either. So uh, we can call this one the fifth. It doesn't matter how many kills Keto continues to get. Good point. But uh, I guess he might as well try and get them if he can, but it's a double spray down from Carrigan. That's much more convincing there. It took a blind kill from Brokey to open things up, but they reacted perfectly there, Chad. Rain threading the needle towards Shaw, taking down the bomb, and as you said, 15 seconds remaining. That was it. Round done. As we get into number 15, they've got a nice, healthy buy as uh, they recover the AK-47s and, of course, the AWP. It's, it's hard to fault Big for continuing this play style because it's yep. worked for them so well up until this point. So the game plan, uh, if I'm Gob, I'm very happy with the work I've done with Tabson here to get nine rounds on this T-Huff. There's still an opportunity to get 10. Rops has been tagged on the cross here down to 12 points of health early. So if Sirison's aware that he hit that shot, might want to try and finish towards B, but Krimdo, Krimbo, just for the final round, is down to a P250. I think that flash went deep enough there. It didn't actually blind the orbit towards short. Certainly not. Carrigan with a different approach this time. Gets himself behind the double doors along. Will he come out on top, though? A little bit of an awkward battle considering the smoke's there, but it subsides. He's got four players in front of him. If he gets one, presumably that's all he gets, but it's a double spray down. Has he got anything left in the tank? Taps and denies it. But a great showing there from Carrigan after having a rough couple of interactions. Brokey, brave as well, finds the... Third kill. Range should be absolutely fine to get Krimbo, and there it is. Looking like it's be 9 6 here, Chad. Yeah, this is a salvage half right here from FaZe. Big. They come out the gates hot to trot. It's a slower pace, but it works against this aggression. I think Carrigan's going to be happy with six here, considering some of the CT side of words they've shown in this group. But let's see how this game finishes. Map number one between Big and FaZe after the break. seconds they got choices Griff. they could they could turn around they could stall this out and hope not all the players rotate over but um wow this would be this would be a huge ball to drop if all the win can't convert stododo is maybe one of the silver linings here don't really have anything to clear him out gonna have to use the bodies a turtle does not mess up so, four on two, I think he's safe here, and that is indeed what they're moving towards, isn't it? So, yep, MIBR going to answer straight back, and like you say, a, a ball drop, a pretty big one, and one that they might not be able to even pick up. It's so massive. Indeed, forced by wars set to continue. For the win, surely going to force around these guns in the following, but Turtle, man, those, those are some crispy frags. First kill was great. Second, bit of a spray battle, but wins it out on that third kill to clear sandbags instantly drops the dodo he was the only man on a he was the only person could offer any resistance so huge frags hero ak paying massive dividends for turtle and uh mibr despite losing in the previous are now back in control but uh i'm enjoying this storyline of the force by wars who's actually going to win out i'm going to say for the win actually for the win will win this round here and then MIBR will, you know, drop their next force by. How about that? For a curveball. 
Well, I have to side with you because I've taken for the win 2-0. So <laughs> right. I don't think it's going to happen, but I think it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you want it, you know? Yes. That's, that's the main thing. It's it's the belief, right? It's the old Peter Pan. I do believe in four spies. Exactly. If I twist reality enough, for the win will win every game. It could work. The caster's curse in full effect, you know. That's the one the one thing you have to sign like a contract with uh, the devil or whatever when you become a caster not to abuse this power. Mm. Uh, maybe maybe Welcome back to ESL Pro League Season 16. You join us on Super Sunday between FaZe Clan and Big. It was a slow start from FaZe, Chad, it has to be said, but they pulled up their socks, risen from their slumber, and they've got themselves a competitive half. Yeah, they've salvaged this, and I brought the pistol round stats before, so they might be looking good to convert yet another one here, but looking good is Tabson, very fired up. Gob's been loving what he's seeing, but Twist, he's been the difference maker for FaZe in some key rounds so far. Let's see if that continues going into the second half as we... Head over towards the B bomb site for a bit of a tussle. Oh, do we ever? All five players making their way in. It's a straight up B rush here, Chad, I think. Off we go to the races. Fabian to be tested here at the very back. He's been spotted. All the grenades being thrown in his direction. And there's the first frag. Make it a double. Ross takes down Keita towards the window. And this round might be done already. I hate to say it. Hate to be the pessimist, but I don't think there's a chance. Yeah, hold on to the Kevlar here. I, I think FaZe have just done that B-door smoke, the one that you can line up from spawn. It's in a couple of uh, players flirting with that idea, but it really opens up these B-executes. That's true, yeah. So it, it happens so quick. I I'm not 100%, but I, I have seen players flirting with that. If they've been able to pull something off like that, it does take a uh, fair bit of coordination. So good stuff from FaZe. And another pistol round. Twists, another kill in a pistol. He had three in the first true, half. True, yep. So impact from him. So there it is, both pistols once again going in favor of FaZe. Nice little B-Rush, don't see too many of those these days, Chad. So out of four Dust Twos, FaZe have played eight pistol rounds and they've won seven. That's not bad. Uh, well, the results were not the best, but uh, overall, that's a pretty good stat. Carrigan will be oh. finding a couple more kills here. They'll save just one Kevlar. That's a big deal. It's yeah, a big deal with is. some of the famous purchases around yep. Kevlars we've seen in recent times. So that's Absolutely. actually huge, right? It's the little details just like that that matter a lot at this level of Counter-Strike. And his ball favor, you can see him get caught off guard, steps up into an explosion, <laughs> and then Rops with twists as the assist, finish off Keto, and there it is, that one is done. Yeah, tactical airstrike towards the back of the platform there. Lots of rifles here as well, look at this. Lots of AKs out in the right, next round yeah. of play because it didn't take a lot of damage, they get that cheaper head armor that we're always on about. Mm -hmm. Good we point. love the money, don't we? We do. We're all about the money around here. <laughs> Gotta count the guap, man, as uh, we'll see a five-man stack this time towards Long. They're deploying the snake, Chad. It's uh, all the way down the long wall. And this could be problematic. FaZe are actually heading in that direction. These rounds can and will happen. Full USB victories. A uh, little bit deadly, a little bit scary. Well, we'll see if FaZe have someone play anti-flash, unlike FTW. Right. That was a bit of a mauling here. Carrigan, tail end of this. He's going to start slinking out with the scout. They're lining up Uto. This could be problematic. The push is going to come here. The flash, where is it? Rain is going to turn an anti-flash indeed. And this is the mow down. Really well handled there. I'm not sure if they heard the pin get pulled. But Maybe FaZe, they turned away, didn't they? They looked the ready for it. Well, they uh, managed to behead the snake, and uh, there we have it. We have a very competitive Dust 2 now. It was looking a little bit dicey for FaZe fans, but uh, they're right back in this. It's going to be 9 to 8, and that's the full eco bear in mind. So a buy coming in from Big, and uh, we'll see the Galils and AKs, as Chad previously mentioned, now in full force here for FaZe. Don't love having to see Paul Searson operate in the first gun rounds of both halves on a scout, but... Rookie's in the same ballpark, so... Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. At least they've had a gentleman's agreement as far as that goes. But looking to tussle Brokey on the head. You can see him just pivoting, looking for this fight with Sirison. So toe-to-toe -to -toe with the scopes. Yeah, locking horns. And uh, the first blow has been received. It's Sirison down to 52 points of health. So uh, I'll slow him down slightly. Rain aware of the position from the trajectory of the grenade thrown. But uh, doesn't want to challenge just yet. Him smoke and fall back. Don't want to get spammed. Well handled. And back towards B with the bomb here on the back of Brokey. Uh, good economy of utility here for FaZe. Have to give them props in the same way we did big within their first half. We have seen a lot of these B explodes coming into uh, popularity. I think Maui was highlighting it the other day. Yanko did a nice breakdown himself. It looks like likely. they'll be lining up one of them. Yep, I think you're dead on here. It's the flashes that are key. Yanko pointed out a way that you can avoid these flashes. So let's see, they're going in. 
Here we go, Fabian to defend. And like we said, this position always a little bit troublesome. He'll be free fired and there it is, the double kill from Faze. Looking likely to tie things up at 9-9 here. Another five versus three. They cracked the side wide open. They split it in half. Yeah, that's a balling right there. And even Big holding onto utility for a late round play. Just unable to get it done towards B. Faven, I think as soon as he tries to step on out, something must have shown. Likely that pesky barrel to giving players away more often than not. Well, that round, they didn't really have much to say back. And uh, now they're going to be on the back foot here as we go 9-9. As mentioned, they'll save two rifles and the scouts. And the longest spree of rounds right now for FaZe in this game, right? The, the most was two rounds with the pistol, <laughs> the pistol conversion. Right. Now it's going to be five consecutive with the tail end of that first half. So back into winning ways just in time. And we'll make sure we give you the understanding here of the context of this match. For Big to keep their uh, status of being the masters of their own fate, they need to make sure they sweep this series 2-0. Right. Which means they can't drop the their back choice here. Yeah, it's always that bloody barrel, isn't yep. it? Sorry, go on. No, I'm just making sure everybody understands that to, to remain the masters of their own fate, that is the key here. Okay. Because if, if it does end up with a 2-1 scoreline, the more conversations have to be had. I don't want to get stuck into that nitty-gritty until it happens. Sure. Well... This map is well up in the air now. But now we'll take a tactical timeout. Got B allowed to chime in and discuss the options here. As mentioned, they saved two M4s, the scouts, but overall around $3,000 per player, as you can see on the screen. I would say they should buy. Because Keto, Keto and Krimbo oh, should sure. drop M4s across. They already have residual utility, right? And then Tabson and Favin can have rifles, have full utility. Seriously can hold on to the scout. And we're going to give you a quick little C stream update. You may have seen that in the break. It's Ooh, MIBR versus like. FTW. FTW yet to win a series here. We have won a map though, Chad. Yeah, that's managed true. Managed to break that streak. Like we said, no wooden spoon in We're that We're out, sense. boys. We've been following it all we week. Have, we've done every single FTW game apart from this one, I think. It's a bit of an unfortunate week. We can't be covering this one. But if you want to watch that game, you can use like multi-twitch, twitch.tv. I think there's squad streaming yeah. as well. ESL yeah, tabs open. CSGO C. They didn't, they didn't buy Henry. They, they erred on the side of caution just like you wanted. Well, there we have it. And uh, they're known to be a methodical team. They play it by the book. I, I think they'll just be stretched too thin. It's not a buy you really want. A scout once more, forcing into it. Will you even get the orp out if you continue to buy like that? I'm not sure. But uh, I think this, for me at least, would be the, the best port of call. Let's we'll see what oh, I was about to say. Let's what? see what Sirison can do. He can do a lot, apparently. Robs through the door. Absolutely wiped out. And that's going to be a five on four. And face, we're just going to creep up towards shorter. They're still in control of the round, considering the weaponry. But we've got Tabson now. He's waiting with the P250 on the A side. It was very problematic because Sirison's moved over towards this car position. He's going to be able to chime in with the scout. Another tag. It's going to soften them up for Tabson here. That Molly burning. Faven already on the flank. This is starting to look good for Big. And Faven gets found out by Carrigan. A massive kill with tags. Damage. It's being done. Faze are dealing with this unless Sirison can continue to do damage with this scout. We'll see if he can, Chad. It goes down to a three versus. Versus two, still a competitive round, but maybe not for long. This is oh. the moment now. Keto nails the shot, but a two versus one with the scout, you, you have to say it's probably over double digits for phase potentially. If he goes for it, they're both just one tag from death. So that's at least a positive here, but for Sirius, and this is so difficult, he doesn't know what HP they're on. He but has to locate two of them, doesn't have a kit. He's also one bullet to death as well with no kit, but I guess he could find the rifle, upgrade his chances there, but opts to fall back, which is probably the correct call. Well, phase will take the lead up to 10, the first to reach double digits here. Gonna feel a lot with joy. You know that FaZe were just talking about getting the Intel Grand Slam done and dusted here in Pro League. Have a long way to get there. This win will secure them a spot into the playoffs and thus we'll see them again in a couple of weeks time. We already have Outsiders and G2 locked in. They're over on the B stream, ESL underscore CSGO B. If you wanna check out that action, fighting for the number one spot in the group. Absolutely. And uh, just uh, let the players know at home. We, the reason we do this is on Super Sunday. Just make sure competitive integrity is there. Everyone plays at the same time. So there's no funny business going down. No one skewing the results. Not that they would, but just to make sure it's all under control. Now, there's a, there's actually a, a wiki. I see people linking this in the Reddit threads because people make Reddit threads like, why are all the games at the same time? And people exactly. give that same answer. They even reference a soccer uh, tournament where this was a, a feature in Round Robin yes. and it had to be changed. But it, you, you guys can find it on Reddit. I, I don't know the name of it on the top of my we don't. We don't have the link ready for you. No. Now, but, Tell me uh, a while to read out. Yeah, exactly. as well. <laughs> I think you might be right. Double orb set up for big. Uh, like like I said, the reason they wanted to take that more economical round is because they, they need the sniper rifles here. They've been very handy on the orb as well. Of course, Sirison, the shining star with the sniper. We'll see what he can do here towards short. He'll be challenged by Rain. Presumably flashed in by Carrigan momentarily, but uh, he's got three players to deal with. And a grenade landing at his front doorstep now. Has to swing and Crimbo. He'll deal with it. Okay, well, bit of a 
Big inspired way to take short there with that smoke coming from downtown, but reacting with a crisscross. No, it's not the crisscross. It's just one of the smokes out mid to B. Carrigan mollied out of position, and Favor needs to hit this. The leg, it might be good enough. He's the only player on the site. This rotation is coming. Carrigan could cut this off at the pass, and looks like he's been able to make his way into the back lines. What a play from the in-game leader here. They just have to deal with Carr. Crimbo's bought them a chance, though. He spotted the player towards Carr, so he's given the information at least, and through the smoke, twists. Manages to come out on top. Still a lot of work to be done here, and low HP for both the phase players. To get across with the bomb. Yeah, true. 30 seconds, though, and they've got the Molotov to enable the plant. Rimbo and Keto. The pincer maneuver is being deployed here. One towards tunnels, one of the double doors, a oh. twist. He hits a tick of his own molly and goes down. It's just going to be Rops here with the AWP isolated towards the back of the B site. He can still win this. It would take some tremendous play, but there's still a chance. First shot nailed. Can he find the second and contain oh. the lead? He absolutely can. Rises to the occasion once again. And finally, a nice clutch going in favor of FaZe after some very tricky rounds in the first half. Yeah, you say finally. That's what Rops is in the team for, to win yep. clutches exactly like that. Twist is doing his part 17 kills. Carrigan's chipping in where he can. He's been able to get himself up to a total of 14. Rain with 15. Brokey, the sniper, kept quite quiet. But Rops, this is what you want from him. And that's going to extend the lead to two rounds. You can see what it means. FaZe getting absolutely. real fired up here. The emotions on the face. They're really in this game. They know what it means. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this, Chad. This is a real game here. Let's get into it. Round number 21, Carrigan feeling himself. He was influential in finding that space, getting the information towards Carr, which enabled them to be in a winnable position there. Two versus one clutch for Rops. Fantastic scenes. A brokey back on the sniper here. Money still decent for big, but concessions have to be made in terms of utility. No helmets and Carrigan. He's already got full short control, so will he be calling for the backup here? Might have put Big into a bit of a, a slumber as far as wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and punch with FaZe. They're just opting to do very standard holds here. Two, three split of the defenses right now as Carrigan having pressure applied, teammates utility of support. He's just gonna run out towards Gandalf taking this fight against Sirius and the flashes look good that Ollie's are missing, but he is in a joust right now. Oh, he's and got him, able to land. Rops has found a kill over towards Favorite on the rotation and they've sent them packing. FaZe are in towards the site here and that's Tabson has something to say. I'm sure he does. But can he realize a couple of kills here? That's a great flashbang. Krimba will set him up, and now they definitely know he's there. Four versus two. Rops with a huge backstab towards the B bomb site and Twist to pretty much confirm the round there. Oh, does he ever? Krimbo goes down, and Twist has looked sensational, Chad. He's been great. He's looked crisp. I think Twist is the individual in this team. When the pressure gets to its highest, and maybe some of his teammates aren't performing as they should, he always seems to step up. Yeah. This is great stuff from Twist. Can't sing his praises enough here. Yeah, totally agree. That's a huge round. Absolutely massive here against Big. And this is Rops doing exactly what he needs to do, taking advantage of the space that is being made, right? All that space is right. getting made from yeah. Carrigan. All Rops has to do is catch them in transition as they try and back up that site. Exactly. He's holding up a B for any sort of reactive pushes, and if it doesn't come, he can help himself to the B side, go towards CT spawn, shut them down. It's very frustrating to play against a player that can time that well, be a nuisance, always in the back lines. Fantastic work from Robs and FaZe Clan in general. 12 to 9, money broken on the big side. They will be purchasing in to round number 22 of Desert Eagles, PD 50s, 5-7s. Uh, a real problem here for big on this CT side is more the fact that they're yet to win a CT round, and that's the woes that FaZe have been feeling these last couple of days. We also saw big have an off performance on this map or two. So it was a risk to take it here, considering both of these teams haven't been the most solid on some more home ground. As flashes long, the push Not forward, again. they need a round like this. The pistols light up the scoreboard. It's Brokey. He's out long with the AWP. Twist is here along for the ride. They just have to stand. They just have to fight right here. This is FaZe's favorite fight, and they got two more to find. The scamper away, the flank coming in. A three on two, Henry. This one's getting hectic. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They do scramble away, and it is a three on two, but Keto, a perfect flank here. Things heating up as Swiss receives. It's huge. It's and they've actually <laughs> put it back to a two on one. This is insane. Faven, 21 HP. Holds towards the ele elevator position. We'll see whether this is enough. I, I doubt it. First three frags there for Big, and it all comes crumbling down. A left of a sliver of hope. The P250 and Faven. Sits in the smoke for now. Brokey, though, not messing around. He's making sure they 
Check every single possibility, and they pull it back, Chad. That's going to be demoralizing for Big after finding three opening kills. Yeah, so much action out long there. It was looking great for them for a moment, but like I said, FaZe's favorite fight. They just want to fight, right? You continue to give it to them. They're definitely going to take it here. It's so insane, the amount of utility kills that Twist has got this game. Right. Remember Long on that low buy situation, he gets a HE kill and a molly kill. Here he gets another molly kill, but his utility damage is only 61, <laughs> Okay, right? So, so he's, he's, he's finishing them off. Exactly, that's so cool. Wow, well caught. And uh, we get into what could be one of the final gun rounds here. 13 to 9, and another long take coming through. Double orb set up to defend, and a boatload of damage there towards the pit. Crimbo's in trouble. The utility exchange goes down once more. Ross Messi. fancies his chances, but actually calling for the fullback here. Oh, that was very, very dicey. I thought he was a stuck in tail and actually diving in towards the pit, but uh, the retreat is called rain. I'm screwed. Is he fine? Is he out? Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. he is indeed, and it will be Tabson, the in game leader of big. Dropped as Rain surely was dead, but uh, did very well to bring it back to a four and four. A reactive utility from both teams there. True. Around the world from Carrigan, he's trying to make sure this space hasn't been garnered by a big push. As we can see, not the case whatsoever. It will just be the one man of Keto tucking in towards the car position while this mid boost just to patrol for any CTs rotating around. It's Favor and Sirison on these orbs again. Still with 50 seconds here. Well, this is a very late in smoke being lined up from Brokey here. So 49 seconds left on the clock as that's deployed. I'm gonna give them a lot more freedom across the map here to move. Oh, okay. Well, that hit the AWP as well, right? So that's uh, the weapon you need to actually do it precisely. So that's uh, unfortunate, and thankfully they'll get away with it. I say that. Well, the bomb. That's Brokey as well. He's the one who actually missed the smoke. He'll be. Can only be frustrated with himself, I suppose. Yeah, well, given a real opportunity here. Faven continues to pick in the smoke. Well, I'm sure Carrigan got a bit of a glance on him right there. Three on three. Are they going to go mid to B? This might be the siding kill. Rob's out long. You want to finish A now. There's one player marooned at Searson. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble here, Chad, with the Molotovs being deployed as well. He has to fight in the flames. Can he get a double kill before it goes down? I don't. Oh, there's no the time. Plum. No, there's no time. Do can't do oh. it. This is it, Keto just has to stay alive. This yeah. so many rounds in this game have finished to the clock. I like the idea from Twist, like accepting the round was over and trying to jump down, find the rotating CT, maybe he's towards spawn or outside B. That's all he could do. Unfortunate of a phase, a valiant attempt there, but Sirison just finding that one kill was enough. It delayed them by that one second. Do you think that unforced error there with Brokey missing the smoke key components I think, in this round? I think so. You could see they were surprised where the first player lucky to even survive the yeah. encounter. And then Brokey goes down himself, I suppose, trying to make up for the mistake, get the kill back. But he offers himself up there, and it's just a frustrating way to end the round. You're running out of time, you're making mistakes. Those mistakes can't happen in these sort of situations. I think if you were going to lose a round, however, that would probably be one of the, the worst situations for Big to, to find themselves in here, right? With just one... Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Big finding himself winning a round and just have one player staying alive where the loss right. bonus is out. Yep. If they didn't save, you know, multiple players with orbs, it's just Keto with one rifle. So they traditionally, as we've seen, put themselves in these positions where they will just limp in with pistols. They're not going to go for a hungry force by behind it. That's likely going to be the 14th here for FaZe. And the first round for Big on their CT campaign. Can they find anything more after winning the previous round chat? Look at the buy. Yeah, exactly right. So they really... haven't even... They haven't even committed to it. Yeah, they've done this before. I've seen this as a bit of a big special. And, well, Keto, he's being special right now. Three kills up mid. They don't need to invest. Apparently not, but uh, Robs is still alive and hot to trot. He'll be getting himself a kill towards Keto. Yeah, I guess uh, it kind of makes sense. They've done this before. It, sure. It's perplexing then. It's perplexing now. <laughs> it is, I've never made that call in my life. They should stick the landing. Like, surely they stick the landing here. This fight towards lower. Tapson seals the deal. Faven from behind with the Deagle. Rops is still alive, Henry. He is indeed, and he has one minute remaining, but the bomb is down towards low, and it's being patrolled by two players right now. Taps him with the AWP, Crimbo there with the Deagle. Presumably, he'll be able to recover a rifle. He'll be here very quick, right? Because he threw that flash over B, and now he's rerouted immediately. True. I don't know if the penny's going to drop here. Rops might have both back turned. So he drops down from spawn here. They're not looking. Oh, are they going to consider it? They're still not looking. They're still not is looking. Freebie here. Spotted at least one. Oh. Sure, the tap for Rops is massive. It's a one-on-one -on -one now. Still plenty of time for this. Tapson's picked up that AWP. He's spotted. Rops knows exactly where he is. Trying to chase him down with the HE. Tapson just running. He's given Rops an opportunity to pick up the bomb here. Yeah, he absolutely has, but uh, he tucks himself in towards B. Rops presumably knows that. Can grab the bomb. Jump up towards these short boxes. Has he got time? <gasps> oh my goodness, it comes down to this. I think he wins the round. It falls on its ass. Tapson 
He can't hit the shot. Robs with the mind games there. The round the world play, Chad. You called it. The flashbang coming out towards B. He gets in T-spawn. Catches him with that spectacular shot with the AK-47. And out plays Tabson. That's a, an amazing play. Robs has really come alive on this T-half, right? Yeah. He was... Well, not doing the greatest on the scoreboard, let's be honest, but he's come alive. His impact on this T-half has been phenomenal. On the lurks, on the clutches Ooh. now, he's won multiple clutches here on this T-side, and this is a very ballsy way. That's the phase way to get it done, and Taps is going to be very frustrated that the fight's just been taken, but remember... Ooh. Wow, he is really fired up. Yeah, I missed that. He, uh... Dude. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, he, he's frustrated. He knows that... That was well within his wheelhouse to hit that shot. It eludes him, and back in towards B we go. A pop play with the flashbangs. Who will open up the fragging here? Carrigan leaps himself up to the opening box, and he's got a player a car to find. Oh. It's going to be Keto finding one. An equal trade for now will not do. Fabian will have to do a bit more, but he snuck through. They have no idea his position. Surely they'll hear the bullets, and he gets a double. This is looking very good. Big needed this round more than ever, and they've secured it. Bomb goes down. Twists nowhere to be seen. He's still in the tunnels. This would be some clutch, a one-on-four situation for Twist, just being smoked off now. Doesn't need to force the issue, has a lot of time to work with. Big. They responded quickly to this, the scramble to defend this B bomb site. It's the barrage utility to help facilitate some of those pushes. Good play from Faven here, and well, it's not too late to course correct this half. He's going to try and do some damage, as you would imagine here. The Absolutely. magic number, if Twist can get two more kills, force Big into a situation, they, they don't have a lot of money to work with. They will get the win bonus, sure, but we've already seen how they operate. And I don't mind those sort of pounce maneuvers from FaZe Clan. Sure, you've got... It's a close game, but you've got a nice lead here. Your money's pretty decent. Go for a B execution. See if you can trade out those kills. It doesn't go in their favor. It was a really nice play from Faven. Sneaking through the double doors, getting himself the car, a position they've already cleared and called is clear. Uh, he managed to get that huge double kill and just bring the round back in their favor. Yeah, record-breaking response time there. Now, that's, yeah. a, that's a question because we know who's getting this kill. It's going to be Twist. Of course it is. Tabs is that frustration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely going to be starting to mount now. He's, he's checked here? Are you serious? I can't believe he checked it either. Well, that one is uh, a little rough. One is, Twist is trying to show us a little bit of a trick. He was trying to see if he could find that jump up onto the box. Have you ever tried to nail that one? No. I gave it a go for an afternoon no, no, once no. and gave up. It's too too particular for me. Yeah. They're coming down to like defined pixels. Yeah, I think exactly. I'll be giving that one a miss. Well, this was great. The, the flashes, that's what I'm loving here. True. Just a consistent barrage of flashes on the rotation. But think about how this can play into future rounds. FaZe can fake that. Yep. Big just rotated immediately. They had to send everybody hightailing over there. Well, last timeout, last timeout called, last conversation. They need it as well. They can force. See. They're getting frustrated. They're looking agitated. Tapson especially. He needs to hold his head high. Sure, there's been disappointing rounds and mistakes made, but you're still in the map. It's your pick. Have to deliver. Can't afford to lose this one. Dust 2 has to go in their favor for them to stand a chance. And we'll get into round number 26. Double up setup. Some buy on either side tip. If they win this round big, it's going to crush the economy of face. This can be a huge round. That's a massive tag. Faven low. So big. I know they're starting a little bit hamstrung here with that tag, but if they can convert this one, there's a real chance to bring this back. Make sure this one lands, Brokey. There we go. Looks good. In the practice in. That's a hole in one. <laughs> well. An A split of sorts looking likely. We'll see what kind of response come in for the CTs here. It's Sirison towards Shaw, the AWP. He'll be challenging Rain once again, but taking a bit of damage there. Rain will be down to 67 and waits patiently at the corner now. Smoke will be deployed from long double doors. Oh, Very nice. He's definitely spotted him here. Yeah, Rain caught a glimpse of Sirison. Carrigan now activating out long and almost on the jump. Crimbo is in hot water. Real trouble now. Two mollies. And it's Rops again, the active lurks. This has been the difference. Rops has been getting stuck in. As soon as the space is created, Rops is taking it. And Big, I said if they could win this round, there's a chance they can bring it back, but this is not looking good. It's not looking good at all. I think that's a fair assessment. Two players remain, five on two, and uh, just tightening the screws here. We will see. FaZe Clan making their way towards A. Damage inflicted. Tapson can do nothing about it. And Faven will be the last survivor here. They should hunt him. They should definitely, definitely should. hunt him. Yeah. In fact, Rops already has lower dark control. They know he has to be over towards this B site. He's just sitting here like a plum towards the back of Platt. If Twist is one of these hunting members, well, unfortunately, he's over towards Long for now, T spawn. He could have got a HE into they, exactly that position. He almost have 100% got him because they've still got, what, 20 seconds left yeah. on the bomb. He's done. Rain towards the window. As soon as he does kill Robs, ah, he's dead. Oh, he's dead now already. Yeah, you're right. He yeah, can mate. extinguish it at least. Yeah, well, that's about it. <laughs> he, he gave it a go.
He did. He definitely did. 15 had, to 11. Had the rock to the scissors, but they also had paper. So, they had it all. Yeah, they, they had too, too many in their arsenal right there. Well, their arsenal not looking too great going into potentially the last round here on the map pick of Big. They'll be equipped with MP9s for masses, scouts, and they've managed to have some impressive rounds with pistols, not necessarily converting them, but really a flurry of frags coming in in that previous long take, but it's not looking good. FaZe Clan really turned up to the second half. We've only seen two rounds from Big, and that's about it. It was a seven-round win streak to kick things off here. All right, Baruki's announced his presence up towards the upper tunnels with a shot early. Here comes some aggression, some heads up play. They will catch Twist out of position. 24 kills will be stalled here. So an opener, they must convert to keep things alive on Dust 2. Boost now, so staying agile with this setup. Yeah. He's going to lop the head. Carrying straight to the doors, doesn't clear his corners. Trying to be reactive, and finally Big putting up a bit of a fight, but still hamstrung in the weapon department. You can't blame Carrigan for that. He's so good at finding those sort of gaps and reacting to those sort of plays. Sure, it doesn't work out, but had he got through and got a kill in CT spawn, everyone would be loving it. So that's the kind of plays he makes. Doesn't work out for them. They've still got four rounds here. They can still win this one, of course. It's uh, a four versus three. Just lost the advantage at this stage. An educated guess, right? A stack short. Are you expecting another one doors? Well, apparently it should be. Rops ahead of the flames. Does get the necessary kill to at least buy some space. And Brokey on the box will get uh -oh. another kill. This one looking done. Just Sirison with the scout. The upgrade, he picks it up. He gets the kill. It's a one-on-one -on -one oh. against Brokey. Well, he'll have the information that Sirison is very low, but he's got the AK-47 up against his orb. He still has a fighting chance. At HP not so much of a factor, but Brokey has got the pistol out for now. Which way does this one go? Flashbangs DC, he's got the Desert Eagle. One bullet would do it. Can he connect? Oh, can he ever? A beautiful headshot there and a great performance from FaZe in his second half. They were looking slow and rigid, Chad, to kick things off in the first. Yeah, we had that aggression coming out that was countered by Big's game plan. It looked so good for a big pickup here on Dust 2, but the second half happened. Carrigan and the boys have got their act together here on Dust 2 and frustrations going into the break for poor Big here. Their life is now a little bit out of their hands.